delayed their share, you're not off the hook by just taking the lowest estimate. Now you have to do what is called a musalaha with the marja or his representative because they represent the poor and those recipients of khums. Basically you have to do a negotiation with your marja. Your marja will tell you for nine years you denied the recipients of khums their share. Well that's an act of injustice. Now I represent the recipients. So on their behalf I'm going to negotiate with you. So... Some maraja like Ayatollah Sistani, this is how he's negotiated it. He said, he says, go with the lowest estimate, which is let's say a thousand dollars. You're sure of that one thousand. What about the higher estimate, like two thousand dollars? What is the probability of you owing more than one thousand? What is that probability? So you could say the probability of me owing two thousand dollars is fifty percent. Ayatollah Sistani says, this is how I negotiate with you. 50% probability, pay 50% of that higher amount. So in our example, you don't know. Do I have to pay 1000 or 2000 I really don't know. First step, the 1000 are you sure of? Definitely you have to pay that. The other 1000 which is doubtful, you don't know. Maybe you owe it, maybe you don't. The marja is going to ask you, what is the probability of you owing that additional amount? Is it 25%? Give 25% of it, $250. Is it 50%? Give 50% of it. Is it 80% probability? Give 80%. That's how I negotiate with you on behalf of the poor, and I relieve you from any obligation that's on you. This is how some maraja have addressed this issue.